In this video, I will show you how to make your recoil go from bad recoil control to almost no recoil at all. Alright, so I'm using the Strike Back Eliminator for the Xbox One. However, this setup is universal with all Strike Back models, so no matter what kind you have, this will work for you. A link to purchase the Strike Back is in the description, and if I don't answer one of your questions, comment below and I'll respond to you with the best of my ability. Uh, any videos I mention will be linked in the order they are mentioned in the description. But mapping. I have my buttons mapped out so that my top left is lean left and my top right is lean right. I'd suggest that you map the lean button since it will better your recoil as you won't be pressing down while you're trying to aim. Um, if you have the strike back eliminator, which has four buttons instead of two, then I suggest mapping the other two buttons to crouch and reload in whatever order you choose. Uh, if you need help with mapping your buttons, I have a video in the description captioned button mapping that goes over this in detail. RCE going out. Anti-recoil. Commonly people overdo it with the anti-recoil value. You don't want to remove all recoil as it just feels odd to aim and often it causes you to shoot to the floor. Uh, I suggest somewhere from 15 to 30 points in mod central. I use 24 and as you can see, it works very well for me. But depending on your sense, this could change. Uh, so it's always good to test out a few numbers in this area. If you are unable to use a computer, I suggest watching the second link in the description, captioned anti-recoil, in which I go over how to set this up manually, without a computer. Rapid fire. So a lot of times you'll see people using rapid fire on both guns, which is not necessarily bad, but I prefer it only on my pistol, as it does slow down certain parts of the gun. I will go over how to do it on both. Uh, I will go over how to do both ways, uh, but it is less easier than you think, so just pay attention. If you want to do this without a computer, I have a I have both ways linked in the description, caption rapid fire always on, or rapid fire secondary only. There are two different videos, each telling you how to do each different thing. Whether you want always on or secondary on in, in Mod Central, you are going to want to go to the mod titled Primary Weapon Rapid Fire. It should be the first mod listed. You're going to turn this on and drag the number all the way to the left. You will now have Rapid Fire active for both. Then click Save. I suggest, have it in, I suggest having it in single fire, not burst or whatever the other ways are. Um, because it just messes with your recoil and it makes you shoot slower and stupid. Uh, yeah, so click save. Uh, if you want it for both guns, you're finished. But if you want it for the secondary only, you are going to have to save this and attach it to your controller. I know there is an option in there, it's the second mod, called Secondary Rep Weapon Rapid Fire. That doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't. It's not, it's not like that. It's for different games, not Rainbow Six Siege. So don't even try it. Trust me, it's just going to mess more things up. Um... So, just save everything that I just told you to do, take off your strike pack, put it on your Xbox controller, and plug it into your Xbox. Uh, once you've done that, and your controller is on, and your strike pack is in mod mode, uh, hold down right on the D-pad until the lights on the top of your strike pack change. Then click Y, and release both of the buttons. Now just click Y one time. Uh, and it'll be on for your pistol only. However, because the strike pack doesn't know when your pistol is out, there is a chance that you accidentally only have it on your primary. So I suggest in every prep phase, you pull out your pistol and check if the rapid fire is on. Generally, I'll pull out my pistol to shoot the default cams, or if I'm on defense, you know, I'll just pull it out and shoot a Jaeger, because why not? I'm joking. Uh, just shoot a drone and see if, if it only shoots once or if it shoots a hundred times. Uh, if it only shoots once, uh, open your in-game menu, like this, and click Y one time. So now it'll turn it off for your primary gun and on for your pistol. Uh, another problem is that anytime that your controller turns off, your strike pack will forget to turn on the pistol only option. So every time that you turn on your controller, you will have to turn that function back on. Every time your controller disconnects, you have to turn on mod mode, hold down right on the D-pad until the lights light up, until the lights on the top change, and then click Y and release both buttons. Now just click Y and it will be on for your pistol only. 
either remember that or bookmark this video, write it down somewhere, because you're going to need to do that every time that you turn on your Xbox. Uh, and possibly more if you have a bad cable connection, which generally you won't have as the cables on the strike back are actually pretty decent. Uh, I hope this helps, and make sure to like and subscribe if I helped you, or click either of these two videos if you are interested. Thanks for watching.